squishy and bouncy. Hello everyone and welcome once again to the Month of Discovery. Today on the agenda is Journey to the Savage Planet Employee of the Month Edition. For some reason I cannot find my original recording of this. No seriously, I, I checked under the sofa and everywhere. It's, it's nowhere to be found. So I guess we're doing this again. Yeah, I'm not a fan of limited lives and that kind of stuff. It will be deleted when mode is completed or failed. No thank you. I don't like that kind of difficulty. I feel it's a little artificial. I mean, it's one thing when it's a choice. Th this is a choice, thankfully. As is Doom, the, the newer Doom games and Minecraft. That I can understand. Just, I, I just don't prefer it. The normal way is, the normal way to play Journey to the Savage Planet, the best place to begin your adventure. Getting tongue-tied. Sorry about that. Let's play. Well, on the plus side, at least I know what to expect, kinda. As long as I know what to expect, huh? Ah, uh, that's lovely. Everything is proceeding as scheduled. Probably. Hi. Probably not. My name is Martin Tweed, President and CEO of Sugar Aerospace. Thank you for joining I the Pioneer Program. This guy looks like Ted from Scrubs, doesn't he? Maybe it's the hair. Kindred has been striving the suit. to help humanity expand beyond the confines oh. of Earth. There's and several I'm areas you can watch it from. Many industry I'm gonna shut up now. Now consider us the fourth best interstellar exploration company. From our humble beginnings, manufacturing batteries and solar arrays for use in extreme climates, to our line of athletic footwear and chic survival apparel, we have been continually striving to drive humanity further from the bottom of the oceans and now to the stars! Our next step is to move beyond pure exploration and into settlement, which is why you are here. Our scientists have identified several planets that may be fit for human habitation. Yours is... ARY26. Your job is to explore the planet's surface, catalog its creatures, threats, and opportunities, and send your data back to our crack team of scientists here at Kindred for analysis. The more you discover, the more we'll be able to guide your experience and highlight objectives for you and your partner, if you have one. I should also mention that while every effort has been made to ensure a comfortable and safe journey, recent budget challenges plus the unknown natures of the obstacles you will face mean that we were unable to send you anything in the way of equipment. <laughs> but don't stress, however, as your habitat comes equipped with a 3D printer that is more than capable of turning any old space trash you discover into useful items. One minor note. All the fuel in your javelin was used in the journey from Earth and the landing on your planet. You will need to discover a local resource that you can refine into an appropriate fuel. Unless, of course, you decide to spend the rest of your life off Earth. <laughs> but I don't want to take up too much of your time, and I'm sure you're very excited to explore. So I wish you good luck. We will send updates on your progress as you complete your scheduled surveys. Stay alive, and see you soon. And I'm sure you're very busy with Bob Kelso's coffee, but I believe I must be on. Side effects of long-term space travel are uncommon, but can include headache, nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, dizziness, dysentery, chest pain, varicose veins, bloody stools, feeling of emptiness or hopelessness, osteoarthritis, hemorrhoid, diabetes, forgetfulness, gender confusion, spontaneous dental prolapse, mild discomfort, or death. If you notice any of these symptoms, please contact your kindred representative as soon as possible, and all efforts will be made to help and or rescue you. Note that current rescue time exceeds six months. What if I ask for it now, Welcome. at least? My name is Echo, and I'm here to help guide you on your mission. But first things first. Please log into the computer and fill out a teeny-weeny questionnaire, if you don't mind, so we can make sure you're not crazy. You think I'm crazy? You're crazy! Give me the flying avocado! What the hell's this? An N64? No, it actually has two prongs. That's great. Mmm, succulent meal. Please take the questionnaire on the computer. 
Otherwise, I can't open the door, turn on the lights, or feed you. What if I feed myself? I mean, this looks good. Uh, whatever that says. Let me see if I can read this. Just like Mom's spaghetti. Inventory full. Well, that just means I can eat it. I'm full of food. Fine. I've already done this before, so it should be easy. Kindred Technologies. New report. It looks like you made it. Good job. As per your Kindred Employee Experience Program Benefits Contract, you are contractually obligated to submit regular reports during your mission. Let's begin! One of my jobs is to continually assess your mental state, and as space sickness has been an issue for some other recent explorers, could you please identify yourself from this gallery of faces? Oh, all these people look so sane. Especially this guy. <laughs> this guy. This is someone you'd want to get locked into a room with. Yep. Definitely nothing's gonna happen there. He's just a regular old sweet guy. Oh yeah, I definitely want to make business opp opportunities with this guy. You know what, the most sane one is the dog, because the dog actually looks afraid of everyone. The dog is rationally thinking, these guys are nuts, get me the hell out of here. And that's basically me. I'm picking the dog. Just to prove how sane I am. I am a sane and sentient dog, thank you very much. I would rather be that than this. Thank you. I'm super glad you're not crazy. Well, I was... I was sane enough to not immediately try to smash the computer with my teeth, so... You know. Thank you for your time, Explorer number J75X321. This is the end of the report. Please press the submit button to send your answers to Kindred's data center for processing. Enjoy your adventure, and remember, stay alive out there, kiddo. Just that same video again, Hi. I'm guessing. My name is Martin Tweed, president and CEO of Kindred Aerospace. Thank you for joining the... Yep, um, here we go. Messages. Greetings to Explorer Name here. Welcome to the first day of your great adventure. We could not be more excited to welcome you to Planet Name here. As a key member of Kindred's quest to explore the stars, it is imperative that brave people such as yourself turn over every rock, scan every blade of grass, and dig the precious crafting ingredients for the innards of every beast you encounter so that our database may grow and humanity may continue to expand across the infinite reaches of space. Humanity has been trapped on Earth for the entirety of its existence. We can be bigger. We can be more. Help us get there. Sincerely yours, Martin Tweed. Tweed, founder and CEO. Well, that was delightful, wasn't it? And now you're ready to explore. Please walk downstairs and step into the teleporter while I will discombobulate you and then recombine you outside on this glorious new planet. This is Star Trek. In other words, it's going to kill me and make a clone of me. You'll understand why I said that very soon. Mm, look at that. Anyone else getting a Borderlands vibe? I mean, I haven't really played the Borderlands games, but I've seen them. So, uh, welcome to ARY-26. It doesn't seem to be, well, a planet at all, really. More than nation of rocks. This mission just got a hundred percent more interesting and about fifty percent more lethal. Great. To aid in your exploration, the javelin is equipped with several small robotic drones that can perform basic scans of the world around you. Please launch them by opening the exterior hatch. Okay. Luckily, I know how to do this. <laughs> Lol. It's like Doom 2016. Hey, little buddy. The funny thing is there is one Great. for each time. Now they'll provide you with approximate locations of resources and important info. There was one the for each time he... pretty banged up, but you'll need to scan the exterior to confirm the level of bang up -edness. Do that now. Each time he press the button. Oh, look at this. Don't I can climb up here. Don't continually scan your surroundings. The camera will transmit data back to Kindred HQ. This exterior panel must have been knocked loose on landing. I am adding a location marker to your compass. Please find it and scan it. If you lose your way, you can always hit the survey button to highlight its location again. Fuel tanks are intact, but empty. 
If you can find a local fuel source, you'll be able to get back home. If you can't, congratulations, you're home already. Yeah. That's not supposed to look like that. Probably not, but hey, who's counting? This machine will copy you into its memory, delete your body, and then print a copy of it five feet away. See? I told you it was like the Star Trek teleporters. They kill you and make a clone of you. That's how this works, I know. Spence is unlimited bait. Become the master of bait. Well done. These aren't reads. Okay. I'll take your word for it. No, not that I would know or anything. Nice. I can slide. Ah, uh, there is our missing panel. Well done. In the future, whenever you need help finding your currently selected objective, you can use survey to orient yourself. Thank you. The javelin is basically intact, but in need of minor repairs. If we ever want to relaunch. Yeah, oh, probably. The photographers found an alien alloy we could maybe use to repair the ship. Let me mark it. Okay. Fixer upper. So it's a bit of a fixer upper. Meh 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 meh. Consciously fragile surface nearby. Please scan to confirm. If it's fragile, why can't I slap These crystals it? Crystals look extremely breakable. You could take out some unexamined aggression on them. So, it doesn't work. Looks like you will need a new tool in order to venture further. I have added a new blueprint to the Javelin's 3D printer that should do the trick. But in order to print it, you'll need to gather some basic resources from the local fauna. Okay. By the way, I'm basically pimp slapping. Power slap. Very nice. Sorry, hey, you're in my that. way. You picked up some carbon. Good for you. Kick. Nice Bitch slap. Work. You have collected enough carbon to craft a basic nomad plasma. Pistol. They're not very happy about me killing them. The job is ready for your input. Guys, I don't think they're happy about being killed. Just call it a hunch. Hoverbirds may not look it. They're salty as hell. Oh, that's comforting. Oh, I see. Hey, buddy. Don't worry, I won't hurt you. I'll just I kill you. Lie. I feel kind of bad. They're so cute and so full of juice. Hey, you're the one who told me to do it. Don't act like you're innocent in all this. Even though I didn't really need this much, but whatever. Keep the change. Keep the chains there, darling. Every time you return to the javelin, you automatically deposit any resources you were carrying. Anything you drop outside the javelin, however, will stay there until you go and grab it with your meat. Now you've got a weapon. The single most important tool for any colonizer. You can't be a colonizer without a good old gun. Yeah, baby. Super shot. Nice. You have to remember that. Colonizer will remember that. This just turned into a telltale game. It's got the generally socially acceptable number of limbs. What? The sun shines down on another beautiful day. Oh, I remember this. It's a perfect time to hit the park and kick the bag around. But one can get frustrated oh, wait, this when is your a natural one. legs only bend in the middle and only bend so far. What if you could maximize your flexibility performance to take your game to the next level? Now you can with Flexlimia. Flexlimia is a topical salve you apply to your appendages, and in just four to six weeks, you'll begin to notice a drastic improvement in your flexibility, up to 9,000%. The results are remarkable. Flexlimia should not be taken concurrently with Tostenda BT or any extremity extender, which can, in extreme cases, lead to Waffles Crazy Leg Syndrome. Side effects may include completely normal behavior, dry mouth, moist mouth, 
itching, redness, burning, dizziness, nausea, bladder blabber, reverse buck teeth, looping face palm, radioactive toenails, strawberry licorice lips, mild to severe farts, uncontrollable crunking or clowning, frequent thoughts of taking it easy, sudden hairy back baldness disorder, long annoying lists, impromptu bongo playing, dog bites, and temporary or permanent death. See website for details. The game has changed, and for the bendier, it's time to level up your flex with Flex Lemia. Well, wasn't that a fascinating little advertisement, huh? Yeah, you didn't know that this would be sponsored, huh? Just, uh, you know, not sponsored by anything that actually exists. On a serious note, this uh, video is not sponsored by anyone. I kind of have to point that out for uh, <clears throat> technical purposes. That's just a joke. This advertisement exists only in the game and is nowhere else. Ambient temperature 81 degrees. Bio signs nominal. That's great. I'm glad for that. Time to slide because I'm fun like that. I wonder if this is infinite ammo. I mean, obviously it has to reload. That's how you sort of balance things out and whatnot, but uh, I don't think it has limited ammo. I think you, you can just shoot it forever. Which is awesome. Right. Although my guy has some weird sound. He makes some weird sounds when he jumps. What? Am I even human? Sounds like a pig. Journey to the Savage Planet. It may sound nice title weird, screen. Do you see a large tower looming above you? Yes. I only ask because my system appears to be functioning correctly, but our initial scan said there should be no sign of intelligent life here at all, and that appears to directly contradict this idea. What about these I creatures? Will contact your superiors immediately. One moment, please. I'm detecting a nearby organic compound which may be useful for our exploration. Oh boy. Efforts. There we go. Now let's screw it. Time to shoot. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, have mercy. Something snuck up on me and exploded, didn't it? Hey, buddy. So, you died, and I made a clone of you that shares your memories. Listen, just don't overthink this. Our bioprinting is accurate to 99.1%. So, as long as you don't die 49 more times, it's all good. Great. But I die every time I use the teleporter. So that's going to be a problem, isn't I it? I received an urgent message regarding the tower from our president and CEO, which is available for your viewing pleasure at the habitat. Please return as soon as you have a moment. Fine. But only when I want to, and I need to get my... I don't know, I need to get to my body or something. I get the feeling, um... It's feeling lonely without me there. To loot it or something. Why does he sound like a dog? Huh? Oh, wait a minute. I get it now. It's because I picked the profile picture of that dog, of course. Now it all makes sense. This. Looks to be a plant that's anchored itself to the environment. If you have a grapple, this is where you fire it. I'm working on a blueprint for you now. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Well, there's my body. I guess I should probably do something with that. Said something about shamefully bury it. You know, shamefully. At least I get stuff back. Actually, I don't remember having silicone and aluminum. Maybe that was just part of my body. Slash suit. It was part of the suit. Well, the carbon probably came from me, so. Hell. Even I'm contributing to the cause. There we go. You little freak. What? Recover resources. Oh, jeez, Louise. That one was juicy. Oh, shit. Jeez Louise, man, the fall damage, the sudden stop damage, whatever you call it. Welcome back. Thanks. Why does my guy look around suspiciously? 
as if it wasn't just a thing that happened. Phone home. Fine, I guess I'll view the video. Hello. Is this thing working? Sorry, buddy. Hey, hey, yeah, you. Hi, I apologize for the one-sided nature of this message, but, you know, communication across vast distances makes it impossible to do anything else. So, I hear you've arrived on ARY26, and I've, uh, I've seen some of the preliminary data, and I have to tell you, we have a few questions. <laughs> well, as you know, every planet we initially surveyed showed uh, no sign of intelligent life. The only thing is, your planet is, uh... <laughs> wrong. Not wrong. Strange. Unusual. Um, I... We... We need to know what's inside that structure. Okay. Uh, how did our scanners miss it? Who built it? I need you to dig up everything you can. We are searching for a new home for humanity. After all. I need you to transmit this data directly to me. Okay? I've already updated your transfer protocols. This needs to be our little secret for now. Ominous. Wait, what? Remember the good old days? Oh, here we go. Well, now you can live them again at Boomerdale. We are a 255 years and older residential gated colony in sunny central New Florida. Located on beautiful DLC 1, our ancient residents have access to a number of premium amenities like emotional support vegetables, cottage cheese and pizza stations, and much, 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 much more. Live out your final 1,000 years in comfort and convenience until your credits run out and your remaining biomass is recycled into sustenance for others. Tasty. Embrace the freedom of the past, the old-fashioned way, at Boomerdale, your future community of yesteryear. This is the one that I remember watching before. <laughs> it's super. Real super. Anyway, better get a move on. Ambient temperature 81 degrees. Bio signs nominal. Thank you. I appreciate it. Poor Mutt. I can't believe I forgot about that. Or I didn't consider it anyway. I didn't think the game would actually be that smart to make that factor into things. I'm even more glad that I chose the dog now. <laughs> That's great. I'm, I'm literally a sentient dog. That's, and a bipedal one, too. Maybe that's why I've got gloves on. That way you can be literally anyone or anything. Apparently that's why Spider-Man has a suit on, because... Stan Lee intended that so that anyone could potentially see themselves in Spider-Man. Go figure. Apparently that wasn't good enough for some people. Let's see if your explosions hurt me from here. You dick. That's what I thought. You may have killed me twice, but I killed you once. Well, technically I killed them three times because when you explode you die. I mean, unless these are the kind that explode and don't die. But that just sounds weird. So I'm going to assume that I killed them three times, which means I win. And I broke your eggs, too. What do you say to that, bitch? That's what you get for killing me twice, you asshole. Oh, boy. Retrieve your loot, baby. What's this? Yeah, just eat that. Whatever. You just... You just ate a thing without even scanning it? That's... I mean... That's one way to attempt to survive on a hostile planet. I'm a well, dog. The did improve your immune system, so, uh, you do you, I guess. Shut up. Don't judge me. You're the one who encouraged me to slap birds. Okay. I better bury my body. Bury myself. And I guess maybe if I get around to it, uh, check that tower out or something. Maybe. I don't know. Poor boy. Jelly Waft Basin. Second 
Okay. Okay. Are they hostile? Okay, yeah, they are. Poor boy. Oh boy. Ruff, 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 ruff. Ruff, ruff. Now hurry up and die, please. I wonder if each of them have their own voices. Like the guy to the extreme bottom right probably sounds like a crazed up RN, if you know what I mean. Harvest all the orange goo. Yes, it's quite delicious. And apparently nutritious. What's this? They're drugs. But good drugs. For healing. Not fun. Okay, that's good, I guess. Now let's go to that tower or something. Maybe. Huh, looks even bigger from down here. The Verdant Wilds of ZYL. I'll see your YL, you mother fricker. It seems we're already entering extremely hostile territory. Well, these creatures don't appear to be immediately hostile, so maybe I should take what I can get and not hurt them this time. Because now there are hostile creatures, and I don't want to deal with them and this at the same time. So the less things that are hot trying to kill me, the better. Or... I mean, I would as imagine. As you may like to make the attempt, the jump in front of you is beyond your current capabilities. But fear not. The cartographers have found a deposit of a rare fluid which could be used to synthesize the fuel for some basic jump thrusters. Please redirect your exploration efforts towards it. Thank you. I really appreciate it. You're so good to me. Uh-oh. I'm having trouble here. Hello, birdie. Like a normal puffer bird, but wrinkly. Okay. That's great. Nice water. No, seriously, I love it. Nice scanner, too. What's this? Something that'll kill me, right? So leafy, so luscious, so luxuriant. Canopy leaf. Everything on this planet will either try to kill me or I'll kill it. Well, actually, even it, things that'll try to kill me, I'll kill it. Just everything is—I'm exactly gonna kill like it. Exactly like a normal squid, except for its aerial properties and size and everything about it. Ah, oh, that's great. So it's just like them, except for literally everything. Oh boy. Prick. Did you hear his whimpering? How dare you hurt such a good boy? He's a good boy. How dare you hurt him? He's my good boy. He's my good boy. How dare you? You're a monster. And monsters must be punished horrifically. I'll kill all of you for hurting my good boy. How dare you hurt a dog? I say as I kill innocent birds without a regret. But hey, I'm allowed to be a hypocrite. Cause I'm the one with a gun. Kinda. I mean, they have projectiles, but they can't compare to a gun. So, ha! Huh. Who looks stupid now? That's right. Not me. That's for sure. Good pointing at me. I know what you're doing. I see you out there, Jeffrey. Don't you dare point at me. You think I can't see you out there? I can. Also, you need some mouthwash. I'm just saying. I'm just kidding. I don't even know if there's anyone out there. If there's someone out there named Jeffrey, feel free to comment below. You'll win my respect or something. Maybe. Oh, it's got a sniffle. Okay. Oh, look, they're covered in the goo of the first one. That's, um, it's actually kind of dark. And not just because the cave itself is physically dark. <laughs> Sorry, pal. Survival of the fittest and all that good crap. Of course, I'm going to hypocritically complain when they fight back. Well, I've done all I can do. If I can't slap it out, then I've, I'm running out of options here. Add salt to taste. That's great. 
Would you like some salt to add to your salt, mister? Entered area, Kane's Icy Refuge. That's lovely. Aw, oh, I can't reach that far. Come on, boy, extend your arms. Who's a good boy, huh? Well, okay then. We'd probably be more efficient with stamina if I went on all fours, but I guess we can't do that. We can't make unique mechanics specifically for this. It's not in the budget, I'm afraid. Corporate's been uh, holding us back. Imagine the indignity of um, something. Yeah, screw it. Uh oh. Oh boy. Damn you. Quit making him. dying to a. something. Oh, jeez. Great. I can't even read it because it falls too fast. Smash this rich deposit of carbon open to retrieve its bounty of resources. Neat. Thank you. What's this? Now that's metal. I see. Fill the carefully preserved seeds, badass. That thing you picked up looks disgusting. And squishy. And bouncy. An alien superfood, shove it in your mouth. Yes, sir. Unfortunately, my time is up. Oh, good news, bad news. Good news is those things you ate made you way harder to kill. Bad news is you're harder to kill because most of your bones have been replaced with rock hard space tumors. Good news, potential partners dig tumors. What about you? Do you do you dig potential tumors? I mean, there's nobody else here. What if I wanted to partner up with you? I'm just kidding. Relax. But what I'm not kidding about is that I'm all out of time, sadly. Makes fools out of us all, doesn't it? So, that's gonna have to be it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like my endless journey of extinction for everything on this planet. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one. And remember, if they're hostile, it gives you the perfect excuse. See you later. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon or just check out the end screens right here.